morning guys this is Nirman we are going to Mysore from Kurk and this is fly bus one of the luxury bus now we are here at Mysore one of the largest cathedral in India Saint Philomena's Cathedral in Mysore is a remarkable example of Gothic architecture the majestic church built to honor the memory of Saint Philomena a Latin Catholic saint of the Roman Catholic Church draws inspiration from the beautiful Cologne Cathedral of Germany. Various scenes of Bollywood movie Omar Akbar Anthony were shot here. Now we are going to Mysore Palace. You see why this city is called the cleanest city in the nation. The city retains its old world charm. It promises a stable urban life with an ancient palace, temples and educational institutes. Mysuru is one of the fastest growing cities in Karnataka. Today my driver is Akram Bhaya. He is a very knowledgeable person. He is telling us everything about the abundant malls and palaces once used in earlier. Here is the main entrance of Mysuru Palace. After having ticket and thoroughly checked up, we are entering into the Mysuru Palace. Mysuru Palace, also known as Omba Villas Palace, is a historical palace and a royal residence. It used to be the official residence of the warrior dynasty and the seat of the kingdom of Mysore. I am in the front of Mysore palace, the most renowned place in Mysore. The grand palace stands tall in the heart of Mysore city and attracts visitors from across the world. No shoes allowed, there are separate counters. This is the main entrance and we have to enter. Mysore palace is built in the Indo Sarasanic style with a touch of Hindu, Mughal, Rajput and Gothic architectural styles. The opulence of Mysuru Palace is truly breathtaking. All around there is only an abundance of opulence. Very neat and clean and well maintained everywhere. You can see the photo gallery of the royal family here. Everyone is eager to see their face in the mirror framed with silver and valuable metals. Here are the various staffs of the king and their royal families. Above the central arc, there is a divine sculpture of Gajalakshmi, the goddesses of wealth with two elephants. Here you can see various collections of gods made of gold. All these are well protected and you have to watch through the glass from a certain distance and you cannot go nearby. The place is so overcrowded you have to go with the flow. Here we can see a replica of king and his servant. As you can see the place is so overcrowded that even I cannot take my video smoothly. Look how gorgeous, how elegant the designs. Everywhere how enriched design is prevailing in this hall. Probably this is the best part allowed to see the visitors. Probably this is the stadium where the royals used to sit here to watch sports and different occasions. The exterior of this marvelous structure is enriched with two darbar halls, several arches, canopies, columns and bay windows. And really the design of this place is so eye-catching that your eyes will be stuck. The interiors are opulently designed and work of art from all over the world. So here is another gorgeous hall. You can see how delicate and enriched design prevailing there. Now moving down to the exit point over the wooden stairs. We are only able to see 30% of the halls and taking time around one and half hours. And remaining 70% is protected not allowed to visitors. After collecting our shoes, we are moving to the different parts of this palace. 
let's have a look this part seems to be the part of old palace i have heard that the interiors which we are unable to see are oftenly designed with carved doors stained glass ceilings glittering glazed flooring tiles spectacular czechoslovakian chandeliers and all the rooms of the palace are stunningly luxurious and quite appealing Here we can see so many old valuable elegant trees. The three-storied palace along with a 145 feet story tower was built using fine grey granite while deep pink marble was used for the domes. Here is also a sprawling green garden surrounding the palace. In addition to the three entrances located on the eastern, southern and western sides, the palace features several secret tunnels. There is also a group of temples at the palace built from the 14th to 20th century. Today Mysore Palace is managed by the government of Karnataka while it continues to retain its designation as the royal seat of the Maharajas of Mysore. Now let's have a check the beautiful aerial view of Mysore Palace. Here we once again to see the night beauty of Mysuru Palace on a special day. Today it is free for all the visitors from 6.30 pm to 8.30 pm. And classical music lovers are purchasing tickets from here to enjoy the beautiful music. Today we are here, let's enjoy the beautiful moments of night beauty of Mysore Parish. Now we are going to Mysore Hill for Chamundeshri Temple and Akumbha telling the story of Haider Ali. Because the king's family left and 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 left. जब तक थे अंग्रेजों के खिलाफ लड़े तो उन्होंने बीमारी की वजह से इंतेखाल हो गया हजरत हैदर अली का फिर हजरत की पुत्र उनका फोर्थ कांड में वार में उनको धोखे से मारा गया नाउ लेट्स सिक आउट द ब्यूटीफुल एरियल व्यू ऑफ मायशुरू हिल Here is a sad part after flying drone to save it from bad grass. I was badly injured and blood coming out from the fingers of my right hand. Akram Bhaya first aided me. I really grateful to him. Now we are at Chamundi Hills. We are going to visit the Chamundeshwari Temple. The Chamundeshwari Temple is a Hindu temple located on the top of Chamundi Hills about 13 km from the parish city of Mysuru. Now here we can see a gigantic statue of Moishasura. Peoples gather here 
to enjoy and to take photos with it. The Chamundishil temple was named after Chamundi or the fierce form of Devi Shakti. The goddess is seated on a lion, killing the demon with her trishul. With its impressive architecture, great historical significance and surrounded with nature's serenity at the Chamundi Hills.